If you want to study on a fully funded scholarship in Europe today, then this is the right video for you to watch at this time. You are going to be getting 900 euros monthly stipend, which you are going to be using to cater for every other extra needs. And if you are going to be submitting your application, no application fee is actually required to this type of scholarship. I will be giving you all the information you need if you are coming from my own country, Nigeria, then you don't need to actually provide any IAS because it is already being waived for you. If your bachelor is totally taught in English, then you also don't need to actually provide IAS. The admission is ongoing right now, but there are things you need to know about this particular offer today. The eligibility requirements, all the procedure step by step that you need to follow is what i'm here to share with you in today's video i appeal to you today to actually click on that like button and also make sure you subscribe to this channel if you are new on this platform okay and i hope you are going to get value in today's video now let's quickly go to my screen to see all the procedure all the steps you need to follow to make sure that you actually get this scholarship today note that this scholarship that we are talking about today is target at those who are looking into masters and phd level of programs only follow me and let's dive into today's video uh grants are offered to pursue study training and other research program at italian higher education institutes both public and legally recognized institutes right? but one thing i want you to know is that this is majorly target at those that are looking into master degree and PhD level of research, right? But first thing, so that I don't waste your time and I don't also waste uh, my own time, is that you need to check your eligibility country here. And if your country is part of this, so first we need to come to the call for admission portal and then click on this list of eligible country. So if you click on that, it will then bring us uh, to this page where we have this list of all the countries that are eligible okay so this list was updated last year and they are still valid up to now okay afghanistan Albania, algeria Angola, uh, argentina armenia okay uh, azabenja uh, bahrain bangladesh Beirut, okay uh, brazil burkina faso Cameroon, canada chile uh, cyprus colombia so these are country that are eligible Ghana is also there, Germany is there, Greece is there, IT is there, Hungary, India, Iran, Iraq, Israel, Ivory Coast, Jordan, okay, Kenya is there, okay, Latvia, uh, Lebanon, Lesotho. So I think almost all the countries are actually there, but you still want to do where to actually check. Nigeria is there, Nigeria is there, uh, Oman is there, Pakistan, okay. So you still want to do well, Senegal is also there. You still want to do where to come and check your own country if your country is actually there or not right so once you are certain that your own country is there then you can then go back to start watching this video right okay so another thing i want you to know is that grantee may be exempted from the payment of enrollment okay and which is majorly the tuition fee depending on the policy of each university so each they are just giving you like uh, an open uh, information here so all the university actually is participating in this scholarship right but you need to know uh, what you need to follow right so if you also come here grant will be covered by a medical or accident insurance contract by this agency for the entire duration of the grant right and if you come to the bottom here the grant amount is nine thousand this will actually be paid in three uh, separate instruments to the personal credit accounts open in his or her name with the Italian bank institution, which means it is when you've actually gotten uh, your Italian account open that this money will be paid to you. Okay, so this is different from the other scholarship that you might be uh, seeing around. And for Italian language and cultural courses, the grant is actually 3000 but for the English thought program, the grant is actually 9000 Okay. And if you come to the eligibility requirements here, applicants must only be uh, application must only be submitted by foreign students, must only be submitted by foreign students not residing in Italy and by Italian citizens 
living abroad. Okay. Holding an appropriate academic qualification required to enroll in the Italian university, which means if you have Italian citizen already, you cannot apply to this scholarship that we are looking at today. Okay, so it is very, very important that you pay attention to all the information that we are being given here so that you can actually uh, skip through the process. Okay, when it comes to age limits, if you are going to be looking at masters, there's age limit right here. And if you are looking into PhD, there's also age limit. So they want young uh, adults to actually apply for this. Okay, so under the language skills, to enroll into the uh, or any Italian thought courses, you must provide Italian certificates. But if you are applying to English thought courses, you must also provide English uh, certification. And if your courses are being taught in English, like I said in the beginning, you don't need to bother about all of this, right? Okay, so if you also come to the uh, information page here, I think on, uh, on this call for admission, we are going to see here that we also have uh, other information about the master degree period of nine months admission to the first year, okay? And courses in Italy require, uh, require the completion of a bachelor degree. Admission to the second year is also granted to applicants who can prove the satisfactory progress with their first year exam. Okay, so it is not on the platter of course. You must make sure that you are ready to actually put in the work into your study. And for those who are going to be enrolled, uh, enrolling, the enrollment is possible only after passing the admission test, right? So you need to be sure with that. And applicants are urged to verify this or other requirements with the university of their choice, which means uh, any university you are trying to apply to, okay, I forgot to mention this, that this is not just specifically to a single school, but all the schools in Italy. So if you are planning to apply to any schools or you've applied to any schools in Italy already, then you should be uh, applying to this scholarship, okay? A lot of schools have actually rolled out admission in the past and some of them are even giving admission decision already while some of them are still in the uh, decision stage, okay? Planning to actually uh, send out information to students. So if you are one of those who are actually looking at uh, studying in Italy, then you should actually go ahead to apply to this uh, scholarship, okay? So one thing is you must have your uh, international passport, which is also serving as your identity card, and you must also upload a legible copy of the document at the time of registration. So all of these are also bought or taken down to the admission process. Your admission alone is not enough for you to actually uh, participate in the scholarship. You must make sure that all the information you submitted is also uh, the information you are going to be submitting during the application for the scholarship so that your information are, are valid because they are going to validate this information to see if there's any difference between any information that you've actually provided, okay? And if you are going to be submitting application for this scholarship, you must make sure that you submit your application before this deadline. And you still have like some days now to submit your application to this uh, scholarship, okay? And that must not be submitted by foreign students, okay? Uh, I mean, application must only be submitted by foreign students. We've looked at that already. And we've also, also talked about the uh, age requirements, right? But you also need to know that most of these schools actually have other requirements that you need to follow. So what this is telling you is that you must make sure that you actually go ahead to the official school website, the school that have your program, then to actually go ahead to submit application to this school. If you then come back to this page, you are going to see that it is after you've actually submitted your application to the program of your choice at the university that you are looking at, then you can actually go ahead to submit application for this scholarship, okay? So now, if you then click on this link to take us to the official website right now, if you come here, you are going to see more information about grant for foreign and Italian citizens living abroad awarded by the Italian government, okay? So this is majorly the Italian government's uh, scholarship, okay? And every year, this scholarship is actually being rolled out, okay? So those who are actually going to be enjoying this and those who are going to be 
commencing their study in September and those who are going to be starting in 2025, right? So you want to make sure you actually position yourself. The scholarships are available to attend academic courses in Italy only, okay? So which means you cannot do as much with this or any other uh, joint program with this, okay? The call and the list of eligible countries, so we've also looked at that, okay? I'm also, I'm just trying to make sure you read every information here. Um, all the application must be received later by this period, okay? If you are going to be applying to the scholarship itself. If we then come back to the uh, official documents, here it says for you to actually uh, continue receiving these grants for the renewal of the grant, any renewal scholarship is granted uh, only to regularly enroll applicants who can prove that they actually participated very well in their courses, okay, with a minimum of 15 university credits required. For PhD, it will be necessary to provide a positive evaluation letter from the tutor. Okay. And in order to receive the grant, a full time regular enrollment to the academic year 20, uh, 20, 20, 24 23 is mandatory. Okay. Funding period. Okay. If you get this, the grantee will benefit uh, of the grant of points 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, and 1.4 of this called the period of study. Which is going to start by November, okay? I think November, okay? You know, I, I initially mentioned September, but it's going to start by uh, November and ending by September. And grantee can benefit of the grant of 1.5 to recall by January 1st, 24, by September, uh, by the ending of September 25, okay? So the number actually depends on when you are going to start and all of those. So, which is basically depending. Or when you actually start the application, okay, then cannot be awarded to attend uh, attend courses in foreign institution based in abroad. Or, so I've I've told you this already. So they are just giving us every information that you must try to avoid. So if you are trying to apply to any schools that have an Erasmus program or a joint program, you cannot get this scholarship to participate. And the applicant must submit uh, the application online. Available upon registration on the study in Italy portal and the following uh, link. So, if you're going to be submitting your application now, okay, so you know, I've brought uh, some schools in Italy where you can actually study, and most of them even have internal scholarship. But if you are going to be also applying for this, you need to then go to, the, to this portal. And it is recommended that you register on the portal through a frequently used email address, as further communication will be. Uh, sent to this. So, if you are going to be using an email that you are not accessing every time, you might not know when the decision has been sent to you. Okay. And the application received after the deadline will be rejected. Please make sure that you actually go ahead to start your application. So, how does the selection to this scholarship work? Application will be evaluated by a committee set up by the competent Italian uh, diplomatic mission. And awarding procedure, the grant will actually be awarded on the basis. Uh, basis of the comparative assessment of application according to the entry requirements. Okay, so this will then determine on what and what you've actually attached as the documents or your available documents that you are attaching to your uh, application. When it comes to the institution fee, some universities themselves, you know, I've said this earlier, I'm just trying to make you see all of this information directly yourself. Some university directly actually award. Uh, scholarship or actually waive tuition fee for some students, but in some cases they don't do this, and the exemption is not applying to programs that are taught in Italian language or other cultural and advanced courses for which the payment of registration and tuition fee is required. Okay, so when it comes to the year in America, thank you. So this one right here. So if we then come here now, we then click on this one right here, it will bring us to this page. Where we find the uh, study in Italy, uh, Esteri, uh, IT. Okay, so find your courses, um, grant academic scholarship. So if you still want to read about it, if you click on that, it will still take you back to that page where we find uh, that information. So there's a document here, which is the uh, declaration, self declaration affidavit. And if you click on this uh, document, you are going to see that what is here is actually also important to your application. Okay, I've mentioned this before 
that if you are going to be applying to most of these schools, they will need you to actually declare some information, right? So you can actually use this for the self declaration, okay, which shows some other information, some other information, okay. So you want to make sure you come here to come and get this form and sign it, okay. So what you can basically do is translate all of this to English, okay. You can translate all of this to English, then fill this form. This form is very, very important if you are planning to get scholarship in any university in Italy. So even if you are not applying to the Italian government scholarship directly itself, if you are applying to any internal scholarship, you still need this document right here. Okay, I will send the uh, call for application uh, link right. So you just want to make sure that you come here, you can find your courses. Um, here it says University Italy. So the University Italy portal is where you actually process your uh, enro uh, I mean pre enrollment right. So once your pre-enrollment is done, then you are good to go. You can also see why you study in Italy, okay? So if you also come to University Italy, let's come to University Italy. Come to University Italy. I think, uh, I'm not sure if pre-enrollment have started already. So here yeah, you can find the uh, Italian University, okay? Italian University, just a click away. So you can find your courses, then the courses will then determine the uh, university that you are going to find okay but the fourth step is to pre-enroll okay so i hope all this information actually compiled for you to know what to do to be able to start your scholarship application now to this italian government scholarship okay so this is a big option for you if you are planning to move to europe in 2024 2025 okay and this will be everything i have to share with you Make sure you drop your uh, question at the comment box. Make sure you actually uh, share this video. Drop a like. Let me know what your opinion is about this scholarship. And any other information you needed, just drop it at the, quest, uh, at the comment box and I will give response to them. So this will be everything I have to drop for you today. Make sure you make use of all the University Italy, the Estuary uh, Porter, which is the study in Italy Porter, and also the official uh, government Italian uh, Porter, where you find information about the call for the scholarship. Okay, so all of these are things that you are going to be making use of them yourself. Uh, make your own research, submit your application for the scholarship. And if you've not uh, applied to any of the university, you can still try your luck. Some of them are still open up to June. I made a video uh, some days back for some of them that are still open up to June. So you can still do well to actually apply to them. So this will be everything I have to share with you today and I hope you get value today. See you then. I'm going to see you in another video.